welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications, and outdoor stuff with knives. Today is Friday, and today is Fun Knife Friday. We are looking at this thing, the Baladio, yeah, Baladio Papagayo, okay, in violet. Um, interesting company. I think it's French, guys, if I remember correctly. Um, and then it's made in China. Yeah, I think that's what's happening here. Okay, anyway, Papagayo sounds very weird in English, but in Afrikaans, Papagai sounds a lot closer, which means parrot. Okay, so this little thing is a parrot. Okay, now I bought this one from Take A Lot. It was less than 200 rand, but... I see that you can actually find these on the internet. I don't know the companies, but I saw them for um, less than 100 rand. So this is an extremely budget-friendly little knife. Now let's look at it. Um, there's a specific reason I like this one. Um, now I want to make a joke about Baladeo, which is like deodorant for your testicles, but I'm not saying that. And it's not true. Anyway, um, there's a specific reason why I like this knife. Okay, let's first look at the knife. Do that. Other clever people do this and then it looks cool. You see? Okay, it's in nice paper. I like knives wrapped in paper. And then look at this beautiful violet, which I suppose is a fancy way of saying pink. But I am slightly colorblind, so I might be lying to you. Okay, now this is... I'm going to lie to you again, TPA, TP something, it's this rubbery over molded material, but it's not that rubbery, okay, over here it feels a bit rubbery, but over here it's just good texture, whatever. Then we have a nail neck, not a super hard pull, and a beautiful spear point shape with a slight hollow grind. Okay, let's see if this thing is actually sharp at all. I suppose it can cut. It's not super sharp. It does tend to tear a bit. Okay, so you need to give this a little stroppy strop before I can use it. Anyway, it says inox over here and over here it says baladeo. Um, as far as I could see on the internet, this is a standard 420 stainless. And then it's a stainless steel frame on the inside underneath this plastic coating. Now... Because it's got such a neutral shape, it feels great in your hand. Okay, it fits, it's wonderful. I can see you doing all kinds of things with this knife. The shape is fantastic. I love the spear point shape because it's like almost a... It is, well, very close to a true-true spear point. Might be a bit down, but yeah. And then the slight hollow grind makes it fantastic. And this thing looks neat. Now, it locks well, quite solid. Okay, it locks. Um, and then how do you unlock it? You see that little jumps over there? When you press on that, it disengages the back lock. So it's a back lock knife, but it's got this thing for the back lock. Okay, fun color, fun knife. I just need to sharpen it a bit before you actually start using it. Well, actually, stropping it for a second or two should be fine. Okay, also, I quite enjoy any knife that uses things where I can shove a coin in there. Ah, standard issue 10 cent is too thick, but you can use a flathead screwdriver, and we should all have a few of them lying around. Anyway, um, this is a nice knife. I really enjoy the way it feels. Now, no pocket clip, anything like that, but it's not going to scratch up your phone or whatever, because it's such a nice, well, this might. Okay, anyway. The reason I saw this knife and immediately thought I need to get this is because one of my favorite old knives is this little guy. This is a Kershaw Kai made in Japan. Look, flat, flat, locking, no wiggle after I don't know how many years. This thing is very old. Okay, it's the... If I can remember correctly, because I cannot really see the 3001 Japan. But then the same thing. At the back, you press and it unlocks. 
Okay, so the little Kershaw guy is even smaller than this guy. Let's give you a size comparison. Okay, if we take, for example, something like a red. Okay, don't let the distance fool you. The red is quite a lot bigger than this. Let's get something smaller that you might know. Here is this VV. What's that called? Atticus? Altus? Altus Atticus. Okay, pretty much the same size. Actually, exactly the same size. So, it's a good working size knife. It's a fun color. It's Friday. It works with... I have no problem with Torx bits. As long as they are 8 and above. T6s suck. I really, really do not enjoy anything with the T6 in it. Um, I know they still do all the pocket clips in T6, so we can't... We can complain about it. T6s are horrible little things. Um, anyway, that was not part of the video. That was just me. And it's Friday. We should let go of all of our anger and issues and just enjoy the weekend. So I'm going to take this, open up a six-pack, and hopefully have a braai. Well, hopefully. I'm definitely going to braai. Okay, so there we have it. The Palladio, Palladio, um, Papagayo. Stay safe, happy, and have a good one. Goodbye.